Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to share with you guys my natural beauty or naturally beautiful no makeup makeup look. So this is the kind of makeup that I personally wear on a day-to-day -day basis. As it is, even when I do a full face of makeup, I just like more neutral colors and things like that. I'm not really into all of the dramatic makeup. I try sometimes, but I just feel like it's not for me. I don't feel comfortable wearing it. So on a day-to-day -day basis, whether I'm going to work or going out for fun or whatever, the weekend, whatever the case may be, I do a simple look like this. And it takes me about 10 minutes to complete in real life when I'm not, well, I guess this is real life, but you know, when I'm not making a video, it takes me about 10 minutes to complete. Now, for this look today, I did add some wispy lashes only because, well, two reasons. First of all, because I'm on camera, I literally, my eyelashes are so short and so straight. It's kind of sad, okay? So I wanted it to, you know, look more... I don't know. I want my eyes to stand out more on camera, you know? But also, because I wore these lashes yesterday and used the technique that I'm going to show you guys in this video, and all day I was like looking at myself in the mirror and I was just thinking, oh my gosh, my eyes are so pretty right now. <laughs> so I wanted to show you guys what I did in this video. It's something new for me that I've never done either in a video or in my day-to-day -day life. So Yes, so we're gonna get into it. And let me know below, comment down below, when you put on your makeup, do you like more of the dramatic looks? Like, do you like cut creases and glitter and a heavy contour and highlight and all that kind of stuff and heavy lashes? Which is fine, which is, you know, if that's your vibe, then that's your vibe. Or do you go for more neutral looks and more natural looking looks like this, even though it's not really natural, but you know what I mean. <laughs> Comment down below, let me know, I'm really curious. I wanna know what kind of looks that you guys are into. As always, if you're not already subscribed to my channel, then please take a moment to subscribe. I upload new videos every single week. You won't regret it. <laughs> if you wanna learn how to get this look, then just keep watching. To begin, I am applying my Makeup Forever Mattifying Primer, and I'm applying this because we're gonna be using a lot of creams, and so I feel like this balances it out. And then I'm going to use my It Cosmetics CC Cream. As you can see, this one is all beat up because I use it so much. I use about a pump and a half, and then I start in the center of my face and work my way out. I feel like this one is a little bit light for me right now. Typically, I'd have to mix it with tan, and I think this one is medium. But I am going to add a little bit of a cream contour so that way... Um, the colors balance out and I don't look like a ghost. <laughs> per usual, I'm using my Makeup Forever Stick Foundation in a deeper color than my regular skin tone. And as always, I'm going to put all the details to everything that I'm using down below. So yes, I'm applying this to my cheekbones, the tip of my nose, up there in my eye socket, and then around my forehead. And then as soon as I apply that, I'm just going to blend everything out. work on my eyes a little bit and then go back to my face so I am tight lining my lash line and I cannot do this you guys without tearing up and just blinking I'm such a blinker when it comes to this I, I can't do it but it looks beautiful so I've never really tight lined before because I blink and you can see the tears in my eyes <laughs> So I get the end of another makeup brush and then pop my lash line out like that to make it somewhat easier for me. And then from there, I'm just going to curl my lashes and apply mascara, which I skipped that part because it's pretty um, self-explanatory, right? And next, I'm filling in my brows. I'm using my L'Oreal brow stylist definer this is my second time buying this pencil and 
I love it. The tip is just so pointy and precise that I'm able to create a natural brow look because I can create hair-like strokes. You know what I mean? So I'm doing that and then I'm brushing as I go all, um, what is it, like apply a little bit and then I'll brush and I just want to create a very natural brow look. I'm going to go in with my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer and I'm choosing to use this one because again since we're using so many creams today I wanted a drier concealer and this is dry on me. I don't know. Have you guys used this concealer? Um, I know that some people on YouTube who have dry skin use it and love it but for me I feel like I don't know it's just dry on my skin and I have combination skin so let me know but in any case I still love it it still gives amazing coverage so that's why I'm using it on this look today as you guys can see it's covering all those dark circles and I'm blending that out with my beauty blender and then I put some under my eyes on my cheekbones and then on the bridge of my nose Hey girl, I don't want you to hide no more inside. Oh, 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 the money in the world can never add up to all the love I have inside. Okay, getting back to business. I am going to use my Bobbi Brown Pot Rouge for lips and cheeks and I'm using the color in Milk Chocolate and this is a beautiful cream blush slash lip color stain or whatever and then I'm just going to pounce that into my cheeks and give myself a natural glow like I'm just blushing. <music> Now I'm just applying a translucent powder to anywhere that I'm oily, like around my nose there and then a little bit under my eyes to set it. And then by the way, I'm not applying any eyeshadow or anything like that. I just want my natural skin on my eyelids to show through. You know how it's kind of dark? I just feel like it looks very natural and I don't mind my dark lids, especially in a look like this. So now I am lining my lips with my Milani lip pencil. This is this is in Spice. It's my favorite lip pencil ever. My favorite color. I mean, I buy these all the time. I just feel like it's the perfect natural lip color. You know what I mean? And then you can use it as a lipstick or a lip stain and just look. It just looks natural, right? Feeling myself. <laughs> This part is optional, of course, but I'm just going to apply my Ardell Wispies just to give my eyes a little bit of a pop. See? Look at that. Look at that pop. Oh my gosh. I'm loving it. Applying these lashes as close as humanly possible to my lash line, and then I'm not going to put any eyeliner on top because I want these to look like they're growing out of my face as much as possible, at least. So that glue needs to dry a little bit, so don't judge me for that part. Um, and then yeah, I'm just gonna go over my lip liner again to make them lips nice and even and full. And after this part, we are all done with this look. Okay, girls, that's it for this video. Let me know if you enjoyed it. Comment down below. I read all of my comments. And let me know what you guys would like to see me film next. Do you guys want to see a makeup tutorial? Do you want to see a hair tutorial? Do you want to see an advice video? Um, oh, do you guys want to see a routine video? Because I was thinking of doing a routine video like a morning or nighttime because I've literally never done that before. So yeah, comment down below. Let me know. I read all of my comments and that's how I choose what to film next. Please rate this video thumbs up because it helps me and share it with your friends and family because it's so important, you guys. It's so 
important to know how to do a no makeup makeup look. Every girl has to know how to do this. I hope you guys enjoyed this and you guys will see me in my next video. So thank you so much for watching. Bye.